Hi, is that a new guitar? Looks modern, must have cost it a lot. Is it cheap? Yeah, that makes sense, cause I know you're broke. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So today I'm going to tell you about five guitar brands that you should check out before buying your next guitar. So let's get to it. Once again, this is not a top five list and ordering means nothing either. So let's begin with the list. But before that, a uh, sub would really uplift my spirits. So number one in the list, we have solo guitars. Probably most of you know Ola England, the middle guitarist, uh, the YouTuber. Uh, and he's a huge gear nerd and we all love watching his uh, gear videos. Uh, the inception of solar guitars you know, happened when he was with Strictly 7 and when he came to Washburn in 2013 uh, he got his own signature guitar which was the Washburn Parallax Solar. And in 2017 finally he launched his uh, own company Solar Guitars and it seems to be completely run by his friends and family. The guitars are manufactured in Indonesia and right now they offer a lot of different shapes including double cuts, single cuts, you know, V's, Delis, you know, uh, super strats, multi-scale guitars with, you know, different specs. And of course they offer basses too, but let's face it, you know, basses are not watching this video. Most of the guitar, if not all, come with Dunkel Solar pickups uh, in them which are pretty fairly rated pickups and you know exclusive to solar guitars only. Most of the products are you know ranged between $650 to $1500. If you can score a B stock or a used one then that's completely a different case. So if you're looking for you know a good quality metal machine and with killer looks then solar is the way to go. Number two in the list we have Legator guitars. Legator Guitars was founded in 2012 in Los Angeles with the aim of making guitar that served the purpose of modern guitar players. They offer amazing finishes, you know, six, seven, eight, nine stringers and one can choose from a, you know, wide range and shape of guitars uh, from their most popular super stratish, uh, you know, the Ninja, uh, which I also personally own one, uh, to a, you know, a headless, maybe a Ghost or, you know, a side force like you know x um scepter uh, you know tele style opus i own a legator ninja performance series seven stringer and i absolutely love it i'll link the you know review in the cards so you can check it out guitars are made in indonesia south korea and united states depending on the range and my one is a korean and the product starts from around six hundred dollars to up of you know twenty five hundred dollars with killer specs. A lot of their guitars are you know equipped with their proprietary you know Hive 2.0 pickups, which sound fairly good. Do check out Legator guitars, and also now they are available in India through Stormbox.in. So go check it out. So number three in the list we have Chapman guitars. Probably most of you know uh, Rob Chapman and Andrew Turns as you know very very popular YouTubers. Chapman was founded in uh, two thousand nine in collaboration with Andrew Turns. But I mainly remember it from, you know, uh, all the voting that used to conduct on his channel on, on the specs of new models. It was a really interesting concept and even now they follow that route uh, to design specs for their newer models. Being a modern British company, uh, Chapman guitars are able to retain best of modern and traditional guitars. And so their shapes might look a bit traditional, but their specs are absolutely modern. Sophisticated. In it. Right now they are offering four models, the Ghost Red which is an explorer shaped, the ML1 a double cut, the ML2 a single cut and the ML3 which is a tele style guitar. Over the years they have experimented with various models. They used to offer 6, 7 and 8 string models as well but after the departure of Rob Scallon to Schecter uh, they have discontinued their 8 string but you know you can find one you know still as old stock maybe. The standard series guitars are made in Indonesia and the Pro series are made in Korea. With the products ranging from you know $600 to $2000 and above, they cover a lot of ground for both intermediate and professional players. So if you are looking for a traditional looking guitar with really really modern specs, the Japan is the way to go. So check it out. 
At number 4 on our list, we have GOC Guitars. GOC is an American brand which was started in St. Louis, Missouri back in 2008. And their goal is to, you know, provide modern instruments with cutting edge designs and, you know, cutting edge technology and super durability for modern musicians. GOC stands for Guitar One Collective, but I used to think for some reason that it stood for Guitars of China because all their models were made in China. GOC have incorporated some really, really unique methods in their, you know, build. Uh, they use carbonized woods for neck, the Japanese technique of Shoshuki Ban, if I'm not saying it the wrong. Uh, the ancient method of, you know, charring the wood and strengthening the wood with fire. Also on certain guitars, they have used the AO neck profile, which is very weird and like very interesting. Clearly, GOC is a brand that does not fear experimenting extremely. Very commendable. All the techniques that they use make GOC guitars, you know, very lightweight, great playability and stability without, you know, use of high grade exotic woods and hence making it eco friendly. A lot of progressive players have actively, you know, joined the GOC club. The C class model starts around around. $750 to upwards of $1000 and they are now available in India through Stormbox.in So absolutely go check GS guitars, they are amazing And lastly we have Harley Benton Harley Benton is the in-house guitar brand of Thoman uh, in Germany like It was founded in 2012 and they are famous for making gears that is you know affordable to everyone even the costliest model which feature roast maple necks uh, stainless steel frets you know emg pickups they cost you know as much as intermediate or you know beginner guitars of some bigger brands since we are going to talk about metal guitars we will be taking a look at their progressive series the biggest highlight of the progressive series is the amarok the amarok comes in six and seven string models Five piece necks, you know, uh, stainless steel frets and AMG retroactive pickups. 27 inch scale, which make this guitar a modern metal machine. They also have their take on, you know, the modern headless guitar, the Talahan. And also they provide, you know, the cheapest seven string, eight string multi scale out in the market. Absolutely value for money and incredibly cheap, only in terms of price, not in quality. Great day to save money. We have reviewed a Harley Benton. 8 string multi scale. I will link it up in the cards. Their guitars are mainly made in China and some in Indonesia and Vietnam as well. The progressive guitars, the progressive series starts from around $150 and uh, they, go, they can go up to you know $700. In India, you can order one through bajao.com, so links in the description below. That's all for today guys, uh, our objective in this video was to spread awareness and push guitarists toward, you know, towards trying out and experimenting various brands of gear, uh, not just the legacy or the big brands. So tell me your views if you own one and comment your experiences with these brands and do let us know if you have any questions. So see you in the next one, stay middle.